Oh yeah, oh yeah, Mary Lee! Big girl! These guys are laying their body parts on the line for the future of the ocean. They are fishing for the future. So when we first come into a shark like Mary Lee and she takes a bait, we then pull her back to the ship and swing her over the lift on the side of the O-Search. And when the lift comes up out of the water, we put a towel over her eyes, calm her down, and then we go to work collecting all the samples and attaching the latest technology to the shark to solve the puzzle of her life. And we have about 15 minutes to do this, like a NASCAR pit crew. You'll see one guy drawn blood while another attaches a tag and another guy's getting bacteria off the teeth and parasites. Got a fender coming? Little poke, guys, Who's little poke. Fender? All for the future of science and a future understanding of their lives. And then there's no better feeling than when you see a fish like Mary Lee swim away strong and you know that you have just exploded the body of knowledge forward and are going to dramatically enhance our capacity to make sure that the North Atlantic white shark has a robust future. And this shark, Mary Lee, is completely <laughs> blowing all of our minds, doing things we did not expect her to do. This is incredible. This is Mary Lee's track since mid-September. And right now, it's basically the end of January. So since mid-September, she traveled from Cape Cod all the way down here to Charleston, up and down the southeast between Jacksonville, Florida, and Wilmington, North Carolina, before just a couple weeks ago, in mid-January, heading around Cape Hatteras, and sliding all the way up here, and now she's just off Jersey headed toward New York. I mean, all of us are shocked, even the scientists. We all thought she was going to be more of an offshore fish. She was going to be living out in here, taking advantage of opportunities with, you know, big schools of fish and maybe the northern right whale, which its critical birthing habitat is down here. We thought she would live there for a long period of time, but just after a couple of months, she's bugging out. What most people don't understand is the reason the research community doesn't know much about our ocean's giants is that they've never had the capacity to capture a 3,500 pound shark and let it go alive. And in order to do that, you need fishermen and scientists to come together. You can't expect a scientist and an intern to pull that off by themselves.